When you, when you went into court today, what did the judge say to you? Um, well, the judge made it clear that he was um, upset that I was um, in South America while he was very cold in, in Rochester, New York. <laughs> and um, he was under the impression that um, nobody was notified, so he took it as disrespect to the mm -hmm. court, which, which was not the case. Um, by um, proper parties, but somewhere there was a miscommunication. Um, he, he said that he would grant an ACD, a German contemplating dismissal. They'll get in trouble for six months and the charges will be dismissed under, under the condition that um, um, under the bridge where Sanctuary Village, 10 City used to be, um, is cleaned up. Apparently, I just got back into town that there was an article newspaper yesterday um, about there was still some garbage. It looks like actually a very small amount, so he wants to make that a condition that it's cleaned up. So as long as that is cleaned up, the ACD can be fulfilled, and he's not taking my passport, and I'm free to travel or not travel. Was he, like, really angry, or was he, he, was, he was firm? Pre he was pretty angry and firm yeah, yeah. At, at first, and... Um, when, when the um, lawyers approached the bench, uh, my lawyer communicated to him, you know, that, that, that I did notify the proper parties and there was a misunderstanding. Um, so he certainly was softer um, at the second, second exchange. Mm -hmm. So, but um, yeah, he was, he was very upset. And how do you feel now that you've taken an ACD six months up under the bridge and then you're done. Like. I, I, I feel like it's relief, you know, um, didn't need to be this complicated. Why well, I would have to come back for this hearing um, where I was in um, Ecuador, but um, but I'm, I'm feel a great amount of relief that it's over. I mean, in the larger picture, um, this campaign, which was you know, for to get people off the street in the winter, to provide safe, warm place, shelter, or housing for people, has been overall a, a success. Um, you know, just one action in that campaign with a protest at the county building where three of us were arrested. Um, but so much awareness has been raised. This has been one of the main issues in Rochester for the last few months and that even the fact that this was in the paper about the bridge, the media has sort of latched onto this as one of the main issues and it keeps following up and it's keep, even though most of the stories are very positive. And um, so, so much awareness has been raised and then even more importantly, concrete action has been taken, right? So the fact that a new shelter was opened up, everybody said it couldn't be done, it shouldn't be done. We don't, we don't need a new shelter, obviously we do. It's absolutely packed every night. Uh, and, uh, you know, not only is it a humane thing that people have refuge there, um, potentially we've not only bettered many people's lives, but we've potentially saved lives. People that would be in this incredible amount of snow. Uh, people couldn't, I mean, how could you live outside for months in these conditions? I mean, it's, it's, it's just, Completely inhumane. So, so, so I feel good about the whole picture that you know that you know that we were able to bring about some temporary changes and, and, and hopefully build confidence in a lot of people in this community that that if we organize, we can bring about any changes that we want to bring mm -hmm. about, whether that be about homeless housing or any fundamental changes that we want to bring about. That we need to have to be um, <clears throat> So, what are you going to do today? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do this month? What's next? Well, I'm going to see to it that the, um, the site where Sanctuary Village tents that used to be is clean, which is a condition of the um, ACD of the settlement. So I'm going to see to it that that is resolved as soon as possible. And then I'm going to be in Rochester for maybe two weeks to sort of just tie up some loose ends, get some things together, and then I plan to go back to um, South America, continue to connect with um, social movements there um, that are, um, you know, just incredible.
processes in, in the Amazon and, and beyond where people are defending their land and learning from different ways of organizing and hopefully bring that back to North America so we can learn and, and have uh, greater connections between the continents and also um, yeah, learn, learn from the best because it's, it's just really incredible advanced movements going on in South America.